A mass casualty situation is any time there are more casualties than a medic can get to quickly. There are casualties who, if you don't get to them in the first couple of minutes, they will not make it. The DARPA triage challenge is trying to provide them the information to enable them to do their job faster. We have an opportunity to develop technologies that are going to revolutionize triage and the way we respond to mass casualty situations. Any sort of situation where there are many casualties and not many responders there to help them, that's where we see these technologies making a difference. The data competition is using DARPA provided de-identified, multimodal physiological data from trauma patients in diverse settings and cohorts provided by the DARPA Research Infrastructure for Trauma with Medical Observations. RITMO program. Teams are developing algorithms that detect signatures in these data streams to provide decision support appropriate for austere and complex pre-hospital settings. Of particular interest are early signatures indicating a need for life-saving interventions against conditions that medics are trained and equipped to treat during secondary triage, such as hemorrhage and airway injuries. Life-saving interventions are medical procedures to sustain life. These include the administration of blood products, management of airway, cardioactive medications, and many others. Early prediction of life-saving interventions can give care providers lead time to anticipate patient needs. Competitor teams will design algorithms for intervention prediction. Training data for the data competition consists of de-identified patient data collected from the University of Maryland Baltimore's Shock Trauma Center and from University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. So we developed the casualty status data from a mixture of pre-hospital and in-hospital patients. So pre-hospital patients meaning patients in the field who are at the point of injury and an ambulance or a helicopter comes to rescue them and bring them to the trauma center. And that's where and, Peter uh, And then when over. we get into trauma center, we will have much more resuscitations. We have more clinicians, nurses, so, uh, and goes through the ATLS protocols, airway breathing circulations, evaluations, and provide even more intense treatment. The data contains electronic health records of each patient medical procedures performed during medevac and in hospital, and waveform data from vitals monitors. Teams face various challenges working with real-world medical data. These factors include noisy data and data dropouts, multiple data types, including tables, notes, and images, raw data with minimal cleaning, and degraded data. Teams will submit their algorithmic solutions, which are then run against data in simulated time intervals, similar to patients experiencing trauma in the real world. Teams are evaluated on sensitivity, specificity, and speed. Now, here are some of the teams competing in the data competition. Team Critic, continuous review and intervention for timely care. Critic utilizes a novel framework that integrates innovative Vitell technology and state-of-the-art machine learning methods to form a fully end-to-end -end solution that predicts life-saving interventions based on raw sensor signals and contextual information. Team Coordinated Robotics. Coordinated Robotics iterated a process of data selection, cleaning, modeling, and checking results against ground truth to refine their model. Team MSAI. They applied statistical methods and machine learning to predict LSIs in a data set with imbalanced classes. They addressed the imbalance by implementing a rule to predict the dominant class and optimize the process for faster execution. Team AI Tempo. Alert for intervention using time series emergency physiological observations. AI Tempo uses machine learning to predict LSIs by fusing incomplete medical data from multiple sources. It utilizes a combination of raw expert derived and data driven features, with the most predictive features selected through post hoc importance ranking and a pre training feature selection approach. Team MGB Harvard. Their model development process included Step 1. Multiple tokenization approaches for tables and vital signs. Two, neural network training for each LSI with various tokenization configurations and hyperparameters. Three, 
selection of the best neural network and tokenization for each LSI. Four, fusion of clinical informed procedural rules and a set of the best neural networks for the final model. Team Lens, life-saving intervention early notification system. Lens uses statistical sensor modeling, AI ML algorithms, and medical experience for early detection of LSI signatures and secondary triage support. The phase two plan involves joining models from different trauma centers for improved generalizability. Team Robotica. Their strategy was to select a subset of available data types, then remove erroneous values, followed by interpolating and extrapolating. Next, they built a machine learning model and trained the model on data. Team TrueFit AI. Their approach included feature engineering around 20 tables to 500 features, gradient boosted trees, and using neural networks to train and predict all outcomes and features. Cross-learning and parallel inference for all LSIs. In future years of the competition, training data will go beyond the current standard of care to include pupillometry, ventilator data, and tissue oximetry to improve prediction of life-saving interventions. And now here are the results from the data competition challenge event number one.